Hello everyone, in this video there will finally be a crash test of a plasticine car, but there hasn't been one for a long time. I'll break this Dodge Charger model from 69, by the way, this is the same Dodge from the movie, the first part of the Fast and the Furious. At the end of the film this Dodge was broken, and today we will see how this plasticine Dodge is broken. I think you will find it interesting to look at, although very sad. So, Dodge Crash Test, why am I destroying my many hours of work, you ask? For you, it looks spectacular, like a large-scale plasticine machine crashing. And the damage received is very similar to real ones, just like real cars crash. And it's very interesting to watch all this in slow motion. And since I make cars from plasticine, and this material is quite soft, it can always be changed in shape, that is, broken. Any part of the body will be dented, you just need to apply some effort. And so that the car could break, it was made in parts and not from a solid block of plasticine. That is, in Nutri it is hollow. The thickness of the body parts is 1 millimeter. This is enough for damage and for the strength of the entire structure, so that the car stands and does not fall apart. Of course, I feel sorry for breaking the cars I make. But at the same time I like destroying them and seeing all this damage live. And as an example, I'll show you what can happen. And while I was filming these shots, here on the lamp was an iPhone mounted on these plasticine supports. And guess what? He fell straight onto the Dodge and damaged its front fender. Now there is a noticeable dent there. Well, at least this way, it could have been even worse. For example, he would have broken the roof. You also need to glue it to the lamp with tape. But what kind of damage did the Dodge receive? It was a collision right in the center. The damaged part slightly took the shape of this block that the Dodge crashed into. It's interesting that this silver line curved upward and not into the engine. Cracks appeared in the paint due to stretching of the plasticine, and the soot bent bent upward into a sharp shape. Initially, its strength is low due to this cutout for the supercharger, so it bends quite easily. The engine itself was not damaged, but the radiator was noticeably bent. This silver line has developed a gap, it has come out of the fastening and may soon come off. And this is the dent where the iPhone fell, which takes pictures of the car from above. This is how the first damage turned out, now I'll hit it again with the front part. He pushed the car crookedly, it flew at an angle, collided with a transparent plastic barrier, which, when deflected, should direct the car into the block. As a result, the wheel was hit, the disc was torn and the wing behind the wheel was bent. And also the windshield flew out and I don't see any more new damage. Let's try again. But it turned out beautifully, the car hit the block tangentially with the side. Which is why there was such a scratch, not just a scratch, but a hole cut in the lower part of the door and threshold. This looks realistic and I also pushed the car quite hard. 
The lower part of the door was simply torn along the line. You can see the inner plasticine and pieces of foil. This is what happens if you hit a high curb or concrete block. Damn, here I missed and the car rushed past the block and crashed into the back wall. It's a pity that I didn't film the moment of the collision. Look how great it turned out. The right wing and hood are already bent badly. The front end was bent downwards, causing a lot of dents and cracks in the fender. It also looks realistic to me. And this is what it looks like from below. The entire engine protection has been torn off and you can see how much the front part has collapsed. It had already turned out smoother, the blow hit the same place on the right side. The wing and hood were now bent even more. The downward slope became even more noticeable. The right headlights are now not visible, they are jammed due to the collision. Under the hood you can see that the engine is displaced, it now stands crooked, and the front part itself is already crooked relative to the body. From below, the exhaust system is now wobbly. The fasteners have all come off. And the top line has already come off. It is gradually collapsing. It was beautiful how all these details scattered, only some small fragments were missing. Then it would have been completely realistic. I pushed the car the wrong way, the front part shattered, the engine is now barely holding together. It's already all wobbly. The front part is simply smashed to smithereens. This is what it looks like from below. The engine staggers and quietly plays. And then the wheel with the wing comes off. It is held on by a piece of foil. Damn, the front part is already supported by the nozzles. But a few more collisions need to be carried out. I don't know how to carry out the crash test further since the front part will all fly apart. Again, I started the car incorrectly. I wanted to make a side collision into the door, but the car flew into the upper part of the front fender. And because of this collision, now the whole body has moved. The front part is looking to the side. The damage was serious and the car is already starting to fall apart. As you can see, I glued everything back, collected it piece by piece, but it didn't last long. Soon everything would fall apart again.
Everything completely fell apart, only the engine remained hanging with the left wing. And even then it can already be torn off, well, at least it's more or less intact. I'll leave it for some next car. The collision with the door finally worked after several attempts. The door is dented badly, the damage is noticeable although the collision could have been stronger. The rear has minor damage on the right side and has noticeable scratches and cracks. There were also collision marks on the roof, some scratches and small dents. Look how interesting the back is bent. It constantly bent upward as if it had flown onto the block during the collision, but it was loosely secured and came off completely. It's as if a supercar like a Lamborghini flew into a Dodge, it certainly looks epic. That's basically what's left, the body itself without the front part. You can see a peeling off gas tank in the trunk. In the cabin, the dashboard, steering wheel, pedals all flew off, leaving only the seat and safety cage. From the bottom there was part of the gearbox, the exhaust system, the gas tank and the rear wheel, since I glued it on. This was clearly too much, there was no need to make so many collisions on the front. I really couldn't make a side collision with a pole properly, and it was not possible to break the back part normally either. In this crash test I wanted to start the car purely by hand, and not with the car on the control panel. And here is the result, not a high quality crash test. It's still tedious to build a rail acceleration for the trolley in order to put a car on it and then accelerate it so that it reaches normal speed. In general, just like an academician would have it on a scale. I'll try to do this for the next crash test. This one wasn't particularly successful. I think I crashed the car in vain without actually filming anything normal. Let's end here. Thank you for watching this video if you liked the crash test. Hit the likes and subscribe to the channel if you are interested in my plasticine creativity. Bye everyone.